A statistician by the name of W. Edwards Deming designed a management process that respects workers, conserves resources, and creates healthy, profitable businesses that last for generations. Fresh out of victory in World War II, the United States was flushed with optimism and plenty of new consumers in the form of young GI families. We were on an economic roll. Who had time to listen? But there was one group who did, the leaders of Japan. This tiny, vanquished country with few natural resources knew it must rebuild itself and someday regain the world's respect. So Japan embraced Dr. Deming's concept of total quality and became its leading practitioner. We know how their story turned out. How about our story? Can we bring the best of TQM to our workplaces? And how do we convert theory into practice? Especially after so many years of doing it the old way. That's where the power of a few colored beads comes in. A way to help management and employees understand what's at stake and bring them closer to a shared vision of what they can accomplish the total quality way. American business has had its share of upheaval in the past 20 years. We've lost jobs, even entire industries. Leaders of all sectors agree. We have to take a fresh look at how we conduct business and make improvements to compete in the world market. Total quality management is an ongoing process for doing just that. Sure, some say TQM is a trend that, like other management styles, will run out of steam. But the success of Japan is no trend, and neither is TQM, unless you think it's trendy to regard people highly or to plan a company's long-term health with profits rolling in for decades. Quality management is trendy only if you think employee satisfaction, dynamic problem-solving, and a high-energy workplace are trendy. In this tape, we'll show you how the simple, unassuming beadbox game can revolutionize people's understanding of the workplace. And as a non-threatening, consciousness-raising tool, how it helps develop the awareness and skills needed to make total quality management work. In part one of the tape, you'll watch a group play the beadbox game. You'll see how to set up the premise of the game and keep it moving. Sometimes, we'll freeze the action to give you special tips for leading the game or concept points to clarify the connection between the game and specific issues. Part 2 features a conversation with Mike Johnson, one of the developers of the Beatbox game and a noted consultant on TQM and its application in international business. Mike will tell you how to use the Beatbox game most effectively how it can serve as the basis for going on to further levels of discussion, and how you can follow up with a presentation on TQM. You want to bring total quality to your company. You want to get people excited about its possibilities, and you want them to take action. Well, first you have to break the ice and break the traditional molds, and there's no better way than the beatbox game.